Despite an increase in the reporting of abuse and violence towards people with disability, the number of successful prosecutions still remains relatively small. Investigators and the police need as much evidence as possible to hold the people who abuse and commit crimes accountable. That's why it's important not to interfere with a crime scene in any way. Even well-meaning actions could destroy or compromise evidence, which may limit the chances for conviction. I'm so, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry this has happened. The, the, the police have been called. They're on the way. She'd be scared, she'd be confused, uh, she wouldn't know exactly what to do. She'd be fearful that her bedroom is her safe space. That's where she should be able to go and to retreat to when, you know, when the world's getting a bit tough. Um, but now that room isn't her safe place anymore, it's been violated. I will not touch that, but that person being supported. I would her let her have that, that grief there. So let, let her have some space of her own. It's a very daunting experience for Bonnie, something that she may never have uh, encountered before and something that you can train people for, but then when something happens, um, they can themselves be in a state of, of shock. Uh, and in that state of shock, you know, they might have trouble processing what's occurred and then, then with, with the best of intentions, uh, take actions that uh, can, um, can seriously uh, impact a crime scene and a, and a later investigation. You're going to that crime scene and you're touching things, and you're touching things, I, I think you should you just leave all the stuff there and not touch anything at all. Even though Bonnie's um, best efforts were to support uh, and Nina, um, the ideal response from her would have been to get Nina to um, come out of the room, uh, go to a safer location, uh, and to not touch anything in that room because, because that is, um, you know, may affect uh, the scene before the police arrive and examine it. You want to keep that evidence there uh, of the assault because if you move stuff around, that evidence will be long gone. So making sure that a scene is secure is extremely important for the likelihood of a successful prosecution. Sorry. I don't mean to interrupt girls. But I think it's best that we just come out of this room for a while. Oh, oh sorry. Okay, it's just... okay, it's okay. Nina, let's go wait in the other room. It's really important that we have no one come in this room. It's okay. We'll come see you in a minute. You're safe now, Nina. You've had a terrible night. You want to have a shower? I know that's probably what you want to do right now, but it will help the police if you stay... <coughs> it will help the police if you stay like this <coughs> until they talk to you. I'm so sorry, you might even have to see a doctor. After that, you can have a shower, I promise. I promise. We need to discuss what happened earlier this evening.
This has the event number and all my details. Give me a call if you need anything, Nina. Thanks for all of your help in there. Yeah. It's about being there for Nina, not asking her any questions about what happened, not asking her for any more detail. She's gonna probably go through a lot of that. She's probably gonna go through a lot more questions. Support workers uh, in this uh, circumstance, very, very important to ensure that they remain calm, that they provide support and reassurance uh, to Nina uh, and let her know what's going to happen next. That the police might will be, you know, questioning her, that she might have to see a medical professional. It's, it's also important that any of the support workers that are witnesses uh, where the police may want to take a statement of them in relation to any conversation they had with Nina or anything that they observed uh, in the house or in the room, uh, that they're not present for any interview that occurs between the police and Nina because they'll be independent witnesses themselves. She was taken out of the room and being in that room and staying in that room where an assault had occurred could in itself be uh, quite traumatic for Bonnie to stay there. Maybe Katika needs to also consider once we've made sure that Nina's okay. I think she also needs to make sure that Bonnie's okay. As calm and as comfortable in a traumatic or post a traumatic event they can make her feel, uh, the better and the more hopefully the calmer she'll be uh, to talk to the police when the police arrive.